What's up guys, Chris Gethin here. Today I'm talking to you about bulking on a budget. I am experienced to tell you how to do this in detail. Why? Because for about three years, I lived off tins of tuna and potatoes, pretty much exclusively for like three years. In the morning, I'd have cereals with some protein powder, but that was pretty much it because I couldn't afford anything else. And I know there's so many of you out there that are in the same position. So let me talk to you about some of these foods that I suggest for you to bulk up and get some muscles whilst on a budget. So number one, oatmeal. It's a staple. You can buy this in bulk. You can go to a Costco's or a big supermarket and buy this in bulk. So oatmeal can pretty much go in every meal. You can mix it with eggs, egg whites. What I like to do as well is mix it with some casein. So what I'll do is either put it in a blender or put it in a shaker or cook the oats first and then add a scoop of casein to it and voila, there is a meal, but I like to add then additional fats to make sure that we get the additional hormonal production, the dense calories that we need to put us in a surplus to build muscle. So I will like to add sometimes some almond butter, some peanut butter, or just some plain nuts, there's some cashews, there's some hazelnuts, anything that will give us the fats that needed. Obviously, if you're having eggs, have the whole eggs. Make sure that you get the good healthy fats in there as well. So oatmeal is, a, is very versatile and it's great when you're traveling. I just put it in Ziploc bags and I put some of this in Ziploc bags and then I've got meals on the go. Snacks or meals, depending on how many you go for. This is one of my favorite and you'll see lots of bodybuilders doing the same. Why? Because it works. What is a perfect combo to go on a rice cake? I like to go lightly salted, but you can have additional salts on there. That's absolutely fine. I like salt, providing that you don't have any heart condition or angina or anything like that. It acts like a mineral version of that amino acid we all know, creatine. So I like to have um, some rice cakes and I'll add some natural jam on there or any sort of jam, tomato jam, strawberry jam. Tomato jam, did I say tomato jam? strawberry jam or mango jam or whatever it may be with some peanut butter or almond butter and I'll spread that on both of them so I'm having some healthy fats, I'm having some good clean carbohydrates as well and I'm having some fruits and sugars, healthy sugars through the uh, jam there to help me bulk up. Now, as I mentioned before, at the start of this video, tuna is what I used to live on, and it is a staple that I suggest today as well. Don't overdo it though, be careful where you get it from because you don't want mercury levels to skyrocket within yourself. So make sure you know you can get some albacore tuna or you can get some salmon or anything like that and mix that with some potatoes or with some rice. You know, you can put some salad in there. Salad isn't very expensive. You can mix some salad in there, put, you know, some low calorie sauces in there, maybe a hot sauce, maybe a mustard or some soy sauce, anything like that, mix it together. You've got some good meals in there as well with your fat if you were to go for salmon or you could just throw an egg in there. What I like to do is fry this, okay, with a bit of coconut oil and put in a couple of whole eggs Fry that in, so I'm stir fry and have some egg stir fry with the tuna. If you didn't want to do that, you can go for some egg noodles. You don't have to go for this noodle. You know, I like to go gluten free whenever possible. I just don't want that inflammatory response, but you can get any type of egg noodle as well and add that with your tuna. It's a perfect combination and it is very tasty and easier to get down when you fry them together like that. And when it comes to snacks as well, as I mentioned, you've got the rice cakes, you've also got the nuts and you've also got some dried fruits you can add as well, just to help you in between meals. Like in between meals, when I was trying to bulk up, back in the day, I'd have a bum bag here and in between clients, or maybe sometimes when I was training clients, I'd just be chewing on some almonds or some hazelnuts or some cashews, any way to get those additional calories within me to be in a constant surplus to ensure that I could bulk up, but do it on a budget.